Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I will show you how to create this really cool 3D scene in Splines. I will share with you how to set up the lights and the environment to achieve this realistic look and feel, which is perfect for a car showcase like this. So let's get into it. So if you're surprised to my channel, you already know that Splines is a very powerful 3D tool to create real-time interactive 3D like this. And most of us are more familiar with this look and feel, which is a typical spline rendering style. A little bit cartoonish, uh, which is not a bad thing, but I always wondering if we can do a little bit more challenging stuff like a setup with real sunlight and shadow like this. Uh, so it can feel more like a real world scenario. So let me show you how to do it. So here we are in spline and I'm creating a new file. Uh, so first let's get rid of this uh, default rectangles and the first thing we need to do is to add a 3d models of the building so i already prepare a 3d model here so let's drag this fbx file into this fly scene so you can have access to all of the 3d files that i have here uh, by surprise to my patreon link under the description uh, so now let's scale this whole building a little bit bigger and we probably don't need these walls here, so let's just uh, click here to hide it. And then let's zoom inside the structures. So it's looking a little bit weird because we're in orthographic view, so let's switch to perspective. So now it's looking more realistic. And you can see that we already have this default directional light here, so you can move it around to see the light direction changing. So next, let's add material to this wall. So let's select this wall right here and then go to the material panels and add another channel to the materials. And for the channels, I'm going to use image and let's add some texture to this material. So I already have this texture right here. And now it's being mapped to the wall, but you can see it because we need to adjust the mapping setting a little bit. So let's go here and then switch this UV to trip planner. So now you see it is being mapped to the wall, but it's a little bit too small. So let's uh, bump up the size here, uh, maybe 2000. Uh, still a little bit too small. So you can click and drag on this X and white uh, blue text here to increase the size as well. And then let's adjust the offset value to uh, move it to the right position. So we're gonna have something like this. And then let's move the image channels right under the lighting channel. So you can see that the wall is looking kind of flat because the light in spline is quite basic. It cannot give you that kind of nice fall off between the light and shadow. So I will show you some quick trick to make it look better. So let's add another channel to this material. And this one's let's uh, select depth. And if you click on this, uh, you will see that this um, gradient control. So you can use this to create a fake fall off effect. So let's move it closer to the windows and scale it up a little bit. And then set one of the color of gradient to zero opacity. And then reduce the opacity of the whole channel to make it blend it to the textures. So now you can see that it's looking much better now because you can see that the lights falling off gradually from the window to the other end of the wall. And then the next step is just simply copy this material and paste it to the other walls, uh, which is a really cool feature because it's going to save you a lot of time. Uh, so now we have something like this. Uh, so for the floor, let's also paste the materials to the floor layer here. And just simply replace the image channel with a different textures. Uh, so I'm going to use this wood floor textures and just need to uh, readjust this uh, scaling a little bit like this. And then let's add some bumps effect to the materials by go to the lighting and turn on this bump map, uh, which is the same texture that we're using and reduce the intensities and increase the shininess to 40s. Uh, so then let's click here to reviews. Uh, so I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you click on this empty area here to open the scene setting. And in this light tab, you can increase or reduce the overall light intensity. 
uh, to kind of add some more contrast to the scene and I would like to increase the intensity of the directional light to make it a little bit more realistic like this and another trick is you can turn on the ambient shadows so you can see that it adds some more soft shadows between the intersection of these uh, objects to make it look even more realistic all right so i think the building is looking pretty good uh, the next thing i want to do is to create a environment sphere so let's uh, add a sphere here and scale it much much bigger so it can cover up the whole building like this and go to the material panels and turn off the lighting channels and for the visibility let's select back so let's kind of flip the surface of the circle so you can see everything inside and let's turn off the shadow casting and receiving as well uh, so next let's uh, switch the color channel to image channels and upload an hdri pictures that i uh, prepare here so now the image is being mapped to the sphere so uh, we need to adjust the rotation so it look like this and now if you go inside the building you can see that how it looks so much better with the environment sphere and then you can also like rotate the sphere to find the best angles for your shot like this all right so now we have the scene is pretty much set uh, so next thing we want to do is to import a 3d models of a car here to demonstrate how it looks like inside this uh, building so the car models that I'm using is this one from Sketchfab, uh, which is free. Uh, so we give it up to Lion Shop Studio to give this for free for everyone to uh, experiment on. So once you download the 3D model, all you need to do is to drag it into the scene like this. And bam, we have the car right here. So it's currently looking pretty awful because we need to work on materials. Uh, so let's move it to the right positions. Alright, so now let's make this look pretty. So uh, you can select any of these layer of the car. For example, here I have this, um, I think there's some body of the cars. Uh, so yeah, I'm saying select these layers and then let's uh, work on this material. Uh, so the first thing, let's add another channels. And for this one, let's select matte cap. And you can click here to change it to a different uh, matte cap that is available in the libraries. Uh, let's try it with this one and then add some blending mode to it to see how it looks like. Uh, so let's try with screens. Uh, so we have a little bit more white material. So let's just leave it like this and I'm going to add another matte cap channels. And for this one, I'm going to select this uh, dark matte cap. Uh, here and then apply a screen blending mode and adjust the uh, opacities maybe down to uh, maybe 40s uh, so yeah something like this and then let's add another channels and for this one let's select Fresno and applies a overlay blending mode and also uh, adjust the opacity by 50 so next let's um, add the material to the library so we can apply it to other part of the car so let's click on this plus button here and then we have a new material and rename it to body paint and then all you have to do is to select the other part of the car and apply the car paint material that we just did actually now when i see it as a whole i think it's a little bit uh, too bright so let's go here and then adjust some uh, settings so let's switch it to overlay and let's try with something else maybe something like this um so yeah i think it's looking a little bit better uh, than the previous one uh, so i think i'm going to go with this uh, setting and now all you have to do is to do exactly the same process to the rest of the car so it's a pretty time consuming process so i kind of uh, give you a time lapse here but the principle is pretty much the same for every of these part Alright, so once you have the car set, uh, you can do another trick is to create a plane uh, right on top of this and decide it to match the size of the car and move it down right below the cars uh, where it's uh, lie on top of the surface. 
and then go to the material tab of this plane and switch the color channel to image and load a shadows png that i have just prepared it here so what it does is to create this fake shadows uh, so we can make the scenes even more realistic bam this is how the final result look like so for a real-time 3d it's looking pretty awesome all right so this is the end of my tutorial today so i hope you find this one helpful and i'll see you in the next one